I just thought I'd pop up <laughs> to say hi. Um, I've got a super quick arts and crafts video for us to do today. This is something that uh, different people have seen on the walls in Stepping Stones and something they've all asked about making themselves. So I thought I would do a super quick video to show you how to do it. Now I, I know we're all having to do work at home, which some of us are finding quite difficult to do, but I'm at university, so I've got to do my work as well. <gasps> so today I've been writing an essay and it's got to be 3,000 words long. <laughs> so I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a break in between my work to show you how to make one of these. Da, 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 da. So this is a little fish. Now when you move it, it looks like it's swimming. How cool is that? So I thought I would show you how to make one. Super quick, super easy. You can have lots and lots of fun. You can make the square that you need for this smaller or larger than I'm showing you, which will change the size of your fish. So you can have little baby fish, you can have great big fish, and if you've got a box, you could um, paint or colour the inside of your box in a blue colour and you could hang these. It looks like a little aquarium. You can make yourself a little aquarium at home. So I'm just going to start with the basics. I'm just going to make a fish to begin with. So let me turn this down so that you can have a little look at what you need. So what we need today is we just need some felt dip pens or you can just have a normal pen that you write with and you just need a piece of paper. Easy peasy. Now you also are going to need some scissors because you need to do a bit of cutting and you need some glue or some double sided sticky tape um, to be able to stick the little bits and pieces on. So as always please make sure you've asked a grown up first so that you've got their permission to be able to use these bits and pieces and if you need some help then they're there to help you. So we're going to take a piece of paper. Now you can either use, I'm going to tip this up a little bit, uh, down a little bit because I can see that you're not quite able to see the whole piece of paper. You can either use a coloured piece of paper if you've got some at home or you could use some white paper and just colour it in. So you could make dotted fish or stripy fish. Uh, we did rainbow fish, didn't we, one day for our dress up when we did World Book Day. So you could make your own little rainbow fish. Options are there. So what we're going to do to start with is we need to make a square. And I've got a pair here that's tickling my arm. There we go. So we need to make a square. So I'm going to turn my rectangular piece of paper we need to make a square with it. So I'm going to take one corner and I'm going to take it over to the other side of the piece of paper. I'm going to match the lines up so that they're the same. And then I'm going to press down so I have folded a triangle shape. Can you see my triangle here? Now this bit here, this long extra piece of rectangle shape that's off the side of the triangle, we don't need. So we're going to cut very carefully down the side of the triangle to cut this rectangle piece off. So let's cut very, very carefully down the side of the triangle to get rid of the rectangle piece. So you should now have a folded piece of paper that's in a triangle shape and a piece of rectangle piece of paper that you don't need. But keep this because you're going to make the fins and the tail out of this piece of paper. This triangle we're going to unfold. Now I've got it so that the fold of my piece of paper is in the middle going up and down, not going side to side, it's going up and down. I'm going to leave one point at the bottom and I'm going to take this other point and I'm going to fold it like I just did but I'm going to make the side of this join just the middle folded line. So I'm going to fold that in. I've made a smaller triangle shape. Okay, like that. And the same on the other side. So I'm taking the point and I'm folding it in towards the middle folded line that I've just created. There we are. It does need to be quite accurate because otherwise the next bit of the fish won't work. So take your time and match all your lines up so that they're side by side and not crossed over or wonky, otherwise it won't work quite the same. So we've got one bit that's folded in, the other bit that's folded in, and we've still got that fold in the middle. 
what you're going to do now is open out the two bits that you folded in and then fold it back along the middle folded line. So we've taken it back to the triangle it was that we started in. Now what you're going to do now, this is the tricky bit because you've got to make sure you get it right. So I've kept the pointed end here. Can you see there's this triangle bit here that's got no double fold over the top of it? That bit needs to stay pointing away from you. And the pointed bit that has got the two bits folded over needs to stay towards you. So as you open it out and fold it back along its middle folded line, that's the way you're going to keep it. I know this all sounds a bit tricky, but it's actually quite easy. So now what you're going to do, the bit of paper that's on the end, that's got no folded bit over, needs to stay with nothing on it. That will make sense now when I show you the next bit. So now you're going to take your scissors, the bit of the folded line that's on the bottom, keep on the bottom. I'm going to try and do it this way so you can see what I'm doing. And then you're going to turn it slightly so that the next bit we do, we're going to just cut lines, we cut towards the middle of the line that you've just folded over. This all sounds very complicated, so I'm making it harder than it is. So if you see this fold here, and you see the bottom middle fold, you're going to cut upwards towards that folded line, but don't cut the folded line. So there needs to be a tiny little gap between where you end up cutting. Can you see this? Between where you end up cutting and the folded line. Okay, so you're cutting along the middle folded line. That should be at the bottom and you're cutting up towards the top folded line, but not to touch it. There's got to be a little gap. So thin little strips, I'm just gonna cut them up and they need to be roughly equal. That means the same size, the same width across the bottom. So I haven't got a big thick one and a tiny little thin one. They're all exactly the same. And we cut along, remembering not to cut across the folded line. Oop. There we go, till we almost reach the tail, but not quite. We're not quite going to cut this bit here. So we're going to leave a little bit at the end that isn't cut and a large bit at the front that also isn't cut. This is what we're going to shape into the face. Now, if you want to keep it so it looks like a shark, then you can keep that bit pointed. If you want to make it look a bit more like just a normal fish, a bit like my fish, then we're going to round the end here. So all we're going to do is we're going to cut a little rounded shape out of that point. Now you could do a little cut like that, or you can make a bigger cut so that the round goes further. Does that make sense? So the direction of these cuts make the difference between whether it works or doesn't work. So that's the cutting. And what we're going to do is we're going to open it back out again and it should look like that. So here are your cut bits. Here's the rounded bit, which is the head. And these two bits on the side, we're now going to fold in to make almost a pyramid shape. So all you're going to do is put glue on the outside edge or the inside edge of one of the pieces, not both. So I'm going to choose this side, it's easier to glue, and I'm going to glue along the edges. Now my glue is running out, but that's okay. Let me see if I can just take a little bit of that glue out of there and use my fingers, because we all know I don't mind getting my fingers dirty. So we want to make sure that there's enough glue that these sides will glue together. And that will make the body of the fish. A little bit more glue up there because I ran out at the top. There we go. So what we're going to do now is glue those two bits together. So the two smaller triangles, not the bit that's got the cuts on, two smaller bits of triangle are going to go together. Fold one across and the other one over the top. Does that make sense? 
Now what you want to make sure you do here, as we did earlier on, is match up the edges. So those two smaller bits of triangle should now be stuck together. Now what we found was, if you very gently put your scissors inside, you can help press down and stick it right at the tail. Okay, so now it looks like this. So you should have the two bits of triangle stuck together at the bottom. That creates the body open shape. You've got the rounded bit, which is the head. You've got the cut bits, which make the fish move. And then you've got the pointed bit at the end, which is the tail. Now, in order to make it move, it's a little bit easier to do this now. If you just very gently curl the fish round, here it helps to bend the paper slightly which will help the little fish to swim more easily when you move him there we go so now we're going to go to do the tail and we're going to do the fins so with the right rectangle piece of paper that you have left over that you didn't need choose one end of it and cut it into a square shape okay you're going to keep one end of the point Go out to the other end of the point and you're just going to round it off. So you can either have a rounded tail that looks a little bit like the shape that we did for the mouth. I like my tails to look a little bit fish-like. So I'm going to just curve my tail round like this. So you need this end of the tail. That's the bit you're going to stick on. That's the bit you don't need. Keep it because we're going to use that for the mouth. You don't need this bit yet. That's the tail. That's going on one end. The other bit of rectangle piece of paper that you had left over that you did not cut the tail out of, fold that in half. We're going to cut the fin shape. So it needs to be quite a rounded, almost teardrop shape. Like that. And when you open it out, ta -da, there's two fins. You get rid of this bit, you don't need it. Now this bit depends whether you want to keep your fish like this. Or do you want your fish to have a little bit of a rounded mouth? If you want him to have a rounded mouth, that's the bit you're going to use to give him a rounded mouth. So I need to mark the edges of my fish's mouth so that I know roughly where I'm cutting to. So on each side of this piece of paper, I've just made a little slit. So I know that's as wide as the fish's mouth is. And then I'm just going to round that off by cutting it da, da, da. like that okay so now we've got those four pieces all right and then the last thing you need to finish your fish off I've just got a little bit of white paper I've folded it over double and now we're going to make that into the eyes so you can either draw around something that's a circle shape so that you've got a guideline a template to follow or you can just do something that's a rough circle shape. You're cutting it out of this folded piece of paper, so both your eyes on either side will be the same. There we go. And that's all that you need your pen for. So you can choose. I'm going to give my fish some green eyes. So you just do your little coloured green circle in the middle, which makes the fish's eyes. You can leave a white bit if you want. You don't have to. Gives it a little bit more... Uh, depth. Let's see. Do they look the same? Do I want my fish eyes to look the same? So this bit needs to be a bit bigger, this green bit, otherwise it doesn't match the other eye that I've got. There we are. Now those are all your little pieces. That's everything that you need to stick this together with. So I'm going to use some double-sided sticky tape because you saw that my glue was running out. So you need to either use glue or you can use double-sided sticky tape like me on the flat end, the thinner end of your fins. So they both need a little bit of sticky on them. There we go. So I'm going to peel that off. Now your fins go at the front of the fish. They're going to stick onto the underside like this there we go and then I want to make it so that it's equal 
on both sides. I like things to look the same. It's called symmetry, symmetrical. So we're going to make sure that both sides of this fish look the same. So this fish is symmetrical. So we're going to stick that fin on there. Can you see? Both sides the same. We need to put some sticky on the fish's eyes. And those are going to get stuck on his head. So on the back of here, you can either put your glue or your double-sided sticky tape. And let's peel the back of this off. I'm going to stick, so if you look at the head of your fish, you want them on either side. We've got eyes on either side. And again, we're thinking about how we can make this fish symmetrical so it's the same, equal, both on the same side. So that on the opposite side of my fish, I'm going to stick his other eye and I've made sure that it's equal. It's in roughly the same spot on both sides of his face. Otherwise, he's going to look a little bit wonky. Now, the last thing we want to do, and I know this is going to need to be a thinner piece of tape or glue. We're going to put some glue on the tail end of the fish. So turn him upside down. We're going to put some sick, sticky, oh, stuck to my fingers. Oh, sticky tape on the underneath of the fish. There's one bit. And there's the other bit. Bear in mind this fish is going to swim. It doesn't matter if it gets a little bit creased. And then we're going to take that funny cutout shape that we made from one of the bits of the rectangle. And we're going to put the pointed end, the corner of the shape that we cut, onto the bottom where the sticky is. Stick it on. Can you see? There we go. So he's got a little tail. Now, if you're making a mouth, you are going to need, let me cut some more. Uh, let me check which way around it goes, actually. One side might fit better than the other. Yeah, so it's got to go that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sticky tape on the underside of my fish's mouth. And then we're going to stick the mouth on and voila, you will have a swimming fish. So let's put this on here. Now what I want to make sure I do with these is put the sticky tape up enough that it holds the corner edges of the mouth on. What we want to remember is some parts of this uh, mouth are going to be sticking out the bottom so you don't want to put sticky on all of it otherwise it won't work so let's hear my dog in the background Cooper's come to see what I'm up to so I'm going to take the backing off of my tape like this now remembering if you're using glue you only want it on the pointy end not on the rounded end so split your shape in half and only put it on the pointy triangle side, not on the curly side, because when you stick it in, the curly side is going to be sticking out of the fish's mouth. There's nothing to stick it onto. Does that make sense? So the pointy end, where it's all sticky, is going inside the fish's mouth. And I'm going to stick his mouth on like that. There we are. Now what I have actually done is what I told you not to do. I've put the sticky right where it doesn't need to be. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roll that over. It's the beauty of tape. You can take it off and start again. There we go. And put that in the right place and then it won't get sticky. And there you have it. There's your little fish. Now you can choose to decorate this if you want to. So you could maybe give him some stripes on his fins. Or you could give him some stripes or some dots on his tails. You could change his mouth, give him a little bit of a tongue, or colour his mouth in black. And when you wiggle him, he makes a swimming motion. So there you have it. A little fish. How about that? That was nice and easy, wasn't it? Me and my fish say, well done. <laughs> 
Have a fabulous rest of your day. And I really hope you get some time to try to make a fish or two or three. Maybe you could have a little family of fish. These could be your lockdown fish. You could put them up somewhere and make a little aquarium for them to sit in. Well done. Fabulous job. Fantastic for all of you for carrying on so brilliantly at this still incredibly crazy time. I am really proud of all of you. So let's hope that we can keep going with some of these activities to keep us amused. Good luck with your work. I'm going back to finish mine now. Oh my goodness. It'd be lovely to hear about some of the work you've all been up to as well. Take care. Have fun. Look out for the staff video tomorrow. Hopefully some of you might be in that video because it's all the pictures we had from VE Day. Congratulations for being amazing. See you soon.